you are a warrior. Yes. And um, it was very hard for me not to cry listening to you speak just now. Um, this is the soul of the movement, you know, and um, we love your father if, as much as you do. Um, because we understand that it could be our father. Um, and in many ways, he is our father. And you're my sister, my mom, my warrior, um, uh, just a soldier in the struggle. And so we want you to have these flowers from SSS. Thank you. And hopefully they will keep blooming just as you bloom for us. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, you'll see someone who's not on the program came up with me because we have our own warriors of many types, our own saxophone, cancer, anti-patriarchy, visionary warriors, and um, we did recruit him for one last minute piece. We promise you as we come to the close of this evening, and the close is gonna be a just roof off the place performance by Jamal Joseph and Impact Repertory, but before that, Coming up in a minute. It's a tremendous honor for me to welcome, to deliver the last pitch, so don't put those pocketbooks away. One of the founders of Scientific Soul Session, premier saxophonist, amazing, visionary, revolutionary, help me in welcoming Mr. Fred Ho. Jones talked about what's unique and special about Scientific Soul Sessions. I was one of its founders three years ago. It's a young organization, but we've learned some things. Um, some would say that I have a, that I've had a meaningful and distinguished life and career. I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, but when I knew that my stage 3B colorectal cancer had metastasized now into stage 4C, which means that I have four tumors in my right lung, two on my liver, one in my left groin. And then when I visited Maroon, saw him for the first time in Pittsburgh in the weekend of February 1st and had a heart attack, Lot lost the left ventricle thrombosis, meaning that the left side of my heart is now dead. I knew that the time had reached, the time had arrived. And uh, there are only two things I still have left undone on this planet. I've done everything I wanted to do musically, professionally, in terms of the Asian American movement, my personal life. But two things remain. One, is I want to see scientific soul sessions become the new revolutionary force for this planet. And it is different from all that has happened before. I think that uh, as someone who emerged from the late 60s and early 70s, the key thing that I've come to understand, and only cancer had to teach me this, and I wish no one would have to learn it this way, but the thing that we have to understand is that we have to keep moving forward. And something Kanye D. Almeida said to me recently crystallizes this, and that is, the very definition of madness is to keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Something I learned from the music at age 14, I was taken under the wing by the legendary drummer Max Roach, colleague of his, the great saxophonist, Archie Shep. And they taught me something that, that I've, that's remained in my heart and my soul and my intellect and that's imbued in scientific soul. And that essentially art, music, is no different from politics. Or that politics is no different from art and music. And that you have to stay creative and you have to stay fresh. And that when you're 40, you shouldn't be playing what you've been playing when you were 20. When you're 50, you shouldn't be playing when you were, when you were 30. When you're 60, you shouldn't be playing what you were, did when, when you were 40. And so that drive for excellence and innovation comes from 
the imagination. And that's what I see with the comrades in Scientific Soul Sessions. So that needs to be developed further. The second thing is to free Russell Maroon shouts. Before I'm, before I'm gone. Now, we've made tremendous progress. We've made tremendous progress. Okay? In 18 years, there was no movement on Russell's case. Stuck in solitary confinement. Now he's at SCI Mahanoi down from Supermax. We expect him to go into general population. We still have to keep the pressure on, but we expect him to be in general population. All this is amazing. All this is incredible. When you look at how difficult, probably the hardest social movement you could get involved with is the freeing of US political prisoners. Okay. So this is quite incredible. So Russell's case, still requires a lot of work on many different levels. We put together a super legal team. It includes Dan Kovalik, the senior counsel for the United Steelworkers, along with two fabulous attorneys who are doing this pro bono from Reed Smith, the, probably the largest corporate law firm in the world. They have 100, 250 lawyers in say Pittsburgh it, alone. Say it, say it. Okay, this took work and it took effort and it took a united front, okay? Um, and all this also takes money. Now, I realize we've made pitches continuously in the evening, but we're going to make one last pitch. I see some of folks here who have a certain kind of uh, status themselves. They've distinguished themselves. I'm going to ask you to write a check. Write a check to the campaign to free Russell Maroon Shouts. Or if you don't have a checkbook here, I would like you to make a pledge. Write down your pledge, which you want to give to the campaign, and we'll follow up with you. But tonight, I'm going to contribute $1,000 in cash. $1,000. I'm going to ask you to do whatever you can do. I know some of you in here are successful. Okay, I consider myself relatively successful as well in what I've done. But I think you can do more too. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to please do more. Okay, I'm not going to ask for a raise of hands. We can do this discreetly and so forth. But this means not only a lot to myself personally, it means a lot to the world. Imagine, and Ms. Herbert Ferguson said this, imagine if we had more brothers like Russell Maroon shows then the liberation of black people would be much closer at hand. Okay. And so if we can imagine that, then we can imagine making a better financial contribution than the $20. You came in here $20 and you got a book. That book cost $20. So you essentially came into a free program. Okay. And whatever you donated from your pocket is appreciated. But again, we're in a fabulous place. Before I came in here, James Levine from the Metropolitan